In FEMAP 2022.2, creating composite layups has been enhanced to support a number of methods that should help streamline the process. The most notable change is that the layup table is more consistent with an Excel-like functionality where you can edit directly in specific cells. Here I can add new plies to the layup table and directly operate on that ply's data, selecting a material, inputting a thickness and orientation angle. If I am adding multiple of the same ply, I can use the set default to automatically propagate additional plies with the same data. Again, if I want to edit, I can operate directly on the cells and there is no need to find the corresponding update button. Perhaps I want to quickly make a symmetric layup. I can use the copy tool to copy any number of selected plies. I can also specify how I want those to be added, whether in matching order, symmetric, anti, meaning the signs of the angles are flipped, and anti-symmetric. I can also specify where I want them input, at the top of the table, bottom, or above below a selected ply. There is also the added functionality of having linked plies, meaning that when I update, say the angle of the source ply, you will notice that the linked ply also gets updated. This makes an easy way to keep the layup truly symmetric. All of this is actively updated. So let's say I want to compute my laminate equivalent properties. You will notice that because the layup is symmetric, the B matrix is all zeros. If I decide to remove the link between my copied symmetric plies and only change one of the angles, the ABD matrices are automatically updated. Another feature to the enhancements is the ability to input apply material or reference an existing layup. As it was, defining apply needs all inputs, material, thickness, and angle. The new ply material is a predefined entity that is a material and has an associated thickness. You can also reference an existing layup or variations of. Predefining apply material saves on duplicate effort on repeatedly selecting materials and inputting thicknesses. This also acts as a safety feature. Any update to the ply material entity will update any layup that uses that ply material. Ply materials can still be oriented with any angle. As I mentioned a minute ago, you can reference an existing layup. This automatically fills the layup you are working in with the plies of that which is referenced. Again, any changes to the reference layup will propagate through. Like ply materials, you can set the orientation angle of a reference layup. Each ply in the reference layup will show the addition of the overall orientation angle, but not actually be modified on the base entity. I can also input a variation of a layup. In this case, I will input one as symmetric, and you can see that the plies of the reference layup are added in a symmetric order. All of these enhancements are aimed to streamline the process of creating and especially modifying layups, a task that tends to be an iterative process.